Hey guys, um, I recently made a how to install workspace video and in that comment someone asked me um, like how do you like a, like a review of workspace and what I love about it. Um, so far, now except for the whole tile manager part, what I love about it is I can separate my work life and my gaming life, so to speak. So as soon as I finish work for the day, let's just say I close it, let's just say this was work and um, I've done some code. So see let's get the out up and here's some code let's see um let's see get her and you know i'm coding i'm on vim i'm on my familiar ground you know all the benefits of winning time manager but then my brother goes let's play league yeah so if i open league now um it will actually break and i didn't show you this last time i installed the league but i've installed league just for demo league breaks and this is like oh no it doesn't work this is all bad it's all horrible but at the end of the day I can, it's just a program, right? So I can just turn it off, and now it's all off, and I can close it. Now, it's still broken, but if I close it again now, and open, reopen the, the resolution is fixed. So I have, oh, sorry, I haven't turned off workspace completely. There we go, let me quit that again, let me just one more time. <clears throat> there you go, and if I just put league, okay, so I stick there in time now, there you go, league, there's a charm, um, and now, works like a normal Windows because everything still works. So the fact that I don't have to do a reboot and still get all the benefits of WSL for Linux and then all the benefits of Windows and Steam and, you know, I've learned, I grew up with Windows. So I, I you know, there are software that only works on Windows. And yes, don't get me wrong, people who are very good at Linux can uh, learn how to do it. But this is a very time efficient way I can separate the two and still have the benefit of both worlds. I guess if I want to feel like not using a time manager today, I can switch it. Like if I feel like uh, doing the other way, I can. And so not only the games work, and I absolutely love the fact that I can game now, um, like let me just put my spaces back on and then just show you a little demo of how I use uh, and why, why I love it. So, um, so first of all, you can make this coherent. So as I work, you right now in Edge or whatever, you can, min in Windows, you can minimize, right? Let's say I didn't want to minimize that. And actually for my workflow, I actually prefer not to minimize because I will, I'll close this and let me just open the workspace file. So that'll be with my workspace, workspace, uh, here it is. And there is a, in this, in, this is the configuration file as I showed before. And within that configuration file somewhere, uh, let me just find it. Minimize, there we go, can minimize, context of can minimize windows. And I could just change it. So, because actually, let's just say it defaults. Um, and what this one does, it means that you can no longer minimize. Notice I can minimize right now. It means that I can't minimize. And I actually prefer that for uh, work life. And I'll tell you why in a second. So, just to, just for people that don't understand what just happened, I'm just going to restart my workspace so that it reloads my configuration file. And I've turned the set a boolean setting to false, so true to false. Yeah. And what that setting does is essentially, if I have something up and I press the minimize button here. I can't minimize it and it just did it. So, <laughs> so give me a second. Uh, let me just make sure that um, I've done the proper changes. So two secs. Um, anyway, notepad. Uh, can minimize is false. So let's just save that. Let's try that again. Again, let's try that. Let's try that again. So, so workspace is open now and I open edge and I shouldn't be able to minimize. Hmm. Why is that not working? Uh, I'm gonna pause the video here and figure out what's going on. I'm not sure why is that not working. Um, I have got that working before, but I'm gonna say that's a bug, something's going on. But anyway, the whole point I'm trying to make is what I'm coding, um, like let's just say I was coding this and I need to Google something, I'll get the browser up and I'll just press Alt E on my case to get the browser up and I'll start Googling something. Um, and maybe I'm gonna start overflow and how to print Let's just say it's that. And I'm, I'm Googling and actually it's, um, this can be, you can do this in two screens, so sometimes it's good to have one real estate and do that. And you know, this is really useful. I just want to try that. And I just want to see the description and I just copy that and I put it across, right? When I'm coding or something like that. Um, this is one of the biggest benefits, but also another benefit is that because this is taking real estate and um, I'm actually finished with this tab, um, I like the fact that I have to close it and then I get to focus again. So therefore I'm now just in my code mode, right? And 
yes, you can have many tabs open. So for example, let's just say I have another browser open, but let's just say, oh, this is, oh, let's just say sometimes there's very rare case where only three and I'm, I'm Googling something here, Google something here and research something here. And if it's like to cross reference and whatever, just, just figure something out. But let's just say I just want to focus on this little workspace. I just press F11 and it's on full screen now, right? And then once I've found something that I think I want to try, I go outside my brain, flip back to the bottom right, and I can go back to coding. And once I've finished with it, and this is the crucial part, I close it because it gains me real estate. And I don't know if, you know, people that work in the industry, and it's not a bad thing, but <laughs> people have tons of tabs open all the time because they just lose track. You know, they, you know, some people work on multiple projects at the same time. And it gets a little bit overwhelming. And what I love about this is that actually I, I can change this number one to project X at work. And um, I don't know if this is true for most people, but when I used to work professionally, I would never turn my computer off anyway. And it was very rare that I would turn my computer off or restart it, right? So I will just have that this as a project, like a geo ticket or something. And then that will be the thing I'm doing and everything is here for my work. And if I need to go to Teams meeting or something, I'll just switch out. Right. And this is something I, want, I wanted on Linux. Uh, so I wanted on Windows because at home, I want to do Windows and I want to do YouTube videos. I want to use, uh, this is a bad example, I want to use OBS, but OBS is everywhere. I want to use DaVinci Resolve for editing, whatever. But I'm, I want to use Windows tools sometimes. And it's great for professional editors, but it's not great for development. And I, I'm a part developer and I'm part, I guess, a YouTuber now, right? Um, so the fact that I can close my browser mind and then to go focus on coding that is one of the biggest like it's just intuitive to me so that's what, I, what that's one thing i really love about it and the fact that i can go into focus mode like that pretty quickly as well i have noticed a bug which is um if i press control or t just get terminal because i've got the see-through background if i like if i just type stuff here on the right and i want to focus on this if i press alt enter which is what i set my key f11 mind to it shows me my code here, which is not, which is, it, it works, uh, but it's not quite the elegancy I want. Because I remember in i3 Windows Manager, if I press the full screen mode, it will only make this, it will show the transparency of the background for aesthetic pleasingness, but it will get rid of the Visual Studio code in this case, which I can see why it's done that. So it just, it just kept it in the background, but yeah, it doesn't look as nice. So therefore, um, it's not perfect, right? If I be honest, I just want the tile management separation. It's, it's the fact that when I want to Google something, I can quickly Google something. And actually yesterday I was coding and you know, maybe I was living. There's a surname, by the way. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I, I was doing some code for this file here, right? Uh, I was making some YAML files. Uh, I was making some changes to this deployment Kubernetes files and I knew I already done it before. And there's lots of times that this happens where you're coding and you, you've done it before and you just don't remember how to do it or want, don't want to figure it out again. So, you know, I've done it in recipes here and I go on Kubernetes and I can just, I can see the code. It's just nice, it's there. And I can just copy, paste and bring it here, look at it side by side. It's, and then, you know, let's just say I want this bigger. I can just, just, can we just do it? It's just, it's just, it's lovely. And then resize, the, I don't spend three seconds, every three seconds, just making sure everything's correctly done. Um, the quickest way to do this is to get a second monitor. I, I currently have three monitors side by side. You can technically see in the webcam on the mirror, which is here. Um, but yeah, like the biggest benefit is the fact that once I'm done with this tab or process, I close it and then I gain more real estate. So I'm incentivized to do it. And that, and then I just, it's just a pleasure to work. Another benefit, because I made it all nice like this, because I made the, background transparent and it looks aesthetically pleasing, nothing has changed, but I want to code more. I want to stay on my desk more. And I've noticed that if I, if I want to stay on my desk more, it might not be physically healthy from the exercise point of view, but it means I can produce more work. So this is, makes it more enjoyable, more happy to be here. Um, in Mary Kondo's words, it sparks joy to me. So I hope this sort of covers the pros and cons. Um, yeah, uh, and like I said before, as always, like if I'm playing League, it separates me from work, I close workspaces, so therefore the feel of the browser is all different now. And I'm now, because the feel is different, I know that I'm at, I'm doing games or you know doing homework instead of work work, professional work or coding or whatever. Cool, hope that helped guys.